I got this idea for a boat. In a nutshell, it's a boat with a hull that lets it slide through the water easily. And then it's got a solar power roof and an electric motor out the back. And the solar power roof can tilt on these little circly pieces toward the sun. And also it can tilt all the way and swing out and become a sail for when there's wind and no sun. And then I busted out some fiberglass and made it. Fiberglass is kind of like paper mache, except way more gross. It's not totally finished yet. I still need to make something that'll move the solar panel sail more easily because it's, it's pretty hard to move by hand because it's heavy. But I've already got the solar panels hooked up and an electric motor, no batteries or anything, but it just works direct drive from the sun to the motor. Under this bucket here, I've got the controls. Uh, I just made it of some copper pipe. One switch is connected to three solar panels and the other one's connected to four. So I've got slow speed, a little bit faster, and then full power. Under this other bucket is the motor. And this was a broken outboard I got for 20 bucks at some junk place and I put my own electric motor on it. Here, let's unhook it and take it for a spin. I gotta say, it's totally awesome being able to just take off and not worry about gas. And the noise is like so low in a gasoline engine. You have to scream at the top of your lungs to have a conversation on the boat. But on here, it's pretty easy. And I can just go. I can just go all day. <sighs> I love the ocean. Up in the front there, I want to make little uh, railings so I can put boards across because that's like the the storage area for stuff. And down here on this section, I'm going to put netting so you know I can throw babies overboard and they'll land here. Not really. Maybe four-year-olds. In the pontoons, I've got this hatch and one on the other side and that lets me open it and put stuff in there. Put my groceries or whatever. And then there's a wall in the pontoon about there that goes down and one back here so that if for some reason there's a disaster and I get a hole it won't flood the entire thing and to make the boat I use two different no three different molds there's one mold that I made that does the front and the back halves of the bottoms of the pontoons and then another one that does uh, half of a top and I just put those together and then I have another mold that makes these uh, cylinders. And the mold that makes the top of the pontoon, I just use part of it to make the tops and the bottoms of these uh, you know, streamlined crossbar pieces. And uh, these pieces here too, for this box. I'm gonna have a door on this box to you know, lock my stuff in. And that's where I might keep some batteries maybe. I've got a charge controller in there already. Like I said, the solar panels are pretty heavy to move. I can do it by hand, but I'm gonna make some, maybe some big gears and some cranks that I can use to move them. But uh, in their, you know, parked position, they uh, rest on these two posts here. And that just keeps them steady. And then at the back, this rear one, um, these sticks come down and just sit in these circles. And if there's big waves, you know, these will kind of jiggle around a little bit, but it keeps the whole thing steady. Oh, and these, these sticks here are what slide up and down to keep the solar panels, you know, from just falling off when, when the whole thing slides up. See, they're curved. And they just slide up through this collar. There, and these, these middle ones are more curved. You know, the center of all the radiuses of those is at the front there where it pivots. And here's the detail of my hinge. This is just a, a big circle on a slightly smaller circle. And I uh, used a bucket as a mold for this. And then I used this as the, the mold for the inside part. And I've got Adventure Builder symbols, of course. All right, I'm off to go find a good swimming spot.
And right now it's about five in the afternoon, evening-ish, and cloudy, and it still works pretty good. So I'm psyched about that. I was a little worried that it wouldn't work very well, you know, on cloudy days. Adios, muchachos! <laughs>